Good evening ladies and gentlemen, it's so nice to be back. Welcome to Suarez HQ. We're going to be getting on and doing some painting. The thing that we do the best. Can't wait to get going. Welcome one and all. We're now going to run VT. See you in 30 seconds. Boom! Welcome back everyone. I'm just going to check my laptop to make sure everything is working. Now, ordinarily I wouldn't skip ads. I hope you're not skipping ads. Let's make sure we are live and everything is working. Well, everything looking great. How are we all doing? Feels like we've been away forever. But we are back after our little two-week hiatus. How are we all doing? We're going to do some shout-outs and hellos very shortly. But the first thing I want to do say hello to some cameras so outside world how you doing good evening to corner cam that's camera number one yes fine fantastic let's go on to overhead cam overhead cam how are you all doing next we're gonna kneel down and go on to the pty corner cam over there boom let me crash down a bit more here we go fantastic yes there we go okay can you can you see this look how big this is tonight that's what we're going to work on. And finally, chest cam. Now, I would just like to say, I think, after a lot of heartache, we might have sorted the problem out with chest cam. Hurrah! Let's get the flags out. Brilliant. So we'll see. <laughs> so, with a little bit of luck, my friends hopefully everything should go well this evening can't wait for it looking forward to it and we are going to get going very very shortly in a matter of just a few moments right so one or two other quick little things uh, are we still on the uh, uh corner cam we're on corner cam let's go to chest cam if we can okay chest cam look i've been working i tell you what guys so so busy here uh, as far as hq i literally have to book an appointment to scratch my backside these days it is so busy which is great working on some client real client paintings check this out okay it's looking pretty awesome if i may say so myself i looked in a light actually in the corner and now my eyes have gone all funny and um <clears throat> yeah this is another type of style of painting that i'm doing done a couple of these recently uh, 150 square is what it will be looking sensational but obviously drying oh so much going on i can barely barely think about even where i live these days let alone anything else fantastic right we're going to do some hellos very, very shortly, but now I want to explain to you what we're going to do this evening. Okay, fantastic. So, let's check out in control. Which camera are we on? Uh, we're on chest cam. Awesome. So, look at this bad boy. 3.2 meters long. Don't ask me what that is in old money. Probably about 10 feet. And 150 wide. So, this is... This is proper, this is old school big. This is what we do best at Suarez HQ. Let's have a wander down. Look, look, it's 200 feet long. Amazing. This is what we're going to be starting on tonight. Can't guarantee how far I'm going to get with it, but I'm going to take you through the process of how I created one of my most favorite ever paintings called Requiem. If you've seen the uh, thumbnail for YouTube or if you've seen any of the social media posts this week, you will know exactly which one I'm talking about. And I'm sure when we can figure out how to share a screenshot of the website with you, we can show you what that looks like. So that's what, guys, we are going to be doing this evening. Can't wait to get... I'm already, how am I already covered in paint? I don't understand this. Ah, oh dear. I shouldn't be. Anyway. Right then. Okay, so... Let's get some gloves on. And I'm going to take you through... Uh, what we've got set up already because uh, I've done a little bit of pre-mixing because it's important, very important. I'll get my background colours right. So I'm going to take you through those very, very shortly. Should we, should we do a quick, uh, should we do a quick hello? Now then, Facebook says we could be live, so let's do a shout out for Facebook. 
Yes, there we go. Give me a second. Okay, so if you're joining us on Suarez Modern Arts Facebook, the fan page, good evening and how are you? That's just a quick shout out. Uh, Joseph and uh, hey, Simon Durman is here. How are you doing? And uh, Zane Taylor is watching, uh, which is fantastic. And uh, whoever, uh, Sherry Reed is here from Missouri. Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, so yes, that's Facebook land. Quick shout out to YouTube land. So we've got Richard Wills and Ingrid Horner and Daisy Longmire's here. Funny Fox has joined us. Ian Holmes, evening all. Fashionably late, always. <laughs> Uh, James Sims, brilliant, fantastic, great to see you at long last, James, and Zach Llewellyn, boom, is back. And I think we've also got Third Eye Open, you're, uh, you're back in the room. And uh, who else have I missed? Uh, Funny Fox, Cameron's here, the Reach is here. So glad you've all managed to remember to join us. Uh, Sherry's also here on YouTube, which is fantastic. Uh, Joseph has got his crisps and his ginger ale, ready to see the birth of some art. Oh, Joseph, I really hope we don't disappoint. It won't. It's going to be amazing. Zane's also joined us here. Formerly Rod Line is here as well. Oh, oh and Nelson's just joined us. This is fantastic. We're, we're, all, we're all the gangs here. This is brilliant. Right, okay. So tell me, are we ready to get going? Should we do some painting? I think we should just get going. Right, here we go then, guys. So the extractor's going to go on now. So if my voice starts to disappear, then don't worry, it'll come back on. But we have this weird electrical thing that goes on when we start the extractor, right? So that's coming on... In about 15 seconds, Henry the Artist has joined us. Hello, Henry, great to see you. Let everybody know wherever you are, what you're watching live. I'm back in the room, yay! I can't run too fast, I'll fall over and break my legs. Woo! We, we get this weird thing, we get this weird thing. When the extractor goes on, it cuts all the audio. Do not ask me why, I'm not an electrical engineer, haven't got a clue. Anyway, we're back, hurrah! We've got some fresh hellos, guys. Uh, Paula Mould, boom, you've made it! Honestly, Paula's great, she's her and her friendly, have got this most amazing um, they did a series of podcasts, Helping Artists, it's just amazing. If you want to post the link, Paula, do it, because I think you're great. <laughs> uh, Anita's joined us, and... Uh, oh, sound has gone. Yes, thanks, Paula. Yeah. And uh, Frank Martinez and Katerina. Oh, all the gang is here. Fantastic. Right, let's get going. Oh, someone called Mr. O. Have I missed you? Have Mr. O, all that white waiting for the magic to happen. Yes, you've seen this before. Right. Okay, guys, let's go, 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 go. Big, expansive canvas. We're not messing around tonight. First thing i got to do is introduce a lovely colour called Grape. Now, I'm not going to mix the grape and then put it on the canvas. I'm going to mix it on the canvas. Let's get radical. Here we go. Here we go on the overhead. We're going on with the black first. Now, remember, if you've not, not seen one of these before, please do ask questions. All right? I have to wear a mask because the paints are pretty awful. That will kill me if I'm not careful. And I am not joking, I promise. So please, 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 guys, do ask questions and we will attempt to answer as many as we possibly can. Right. Now, the whole point of this painting is it's a spacey, universe, you know, kind of cosmological delight, that kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop on some of this uh, burgundy kind of purple colour. It's actually a Pantone colour. If you're in the printing industry, you'll know what I mean. Beautiful colour, quite rich and deep. It's got kind of, you know, let's have a look on chest cam. Look at that, it's got undertones of pink in it. So it's got top notes of magenta. It's got small, warm, orangey kind of hues to it. Obviously, it's, it's very much based in it, in it being a, it's essentially on the purple end of the scale. But it's this gorgeous kind of mishmash. There, look, let me get some on my finger. This lovely mish, <laughs> mishmash between orange and purple and magenta and pink and orange, gorgeous. Right, 
Let's get that bad boy in. So I've got to be fairly selective where I'm going with this. I know it doesn't look like it as I'm racing around the canvas at 300 miles an hour, but trust me, you've got to work quick with these things. And at the moment, this is just a base coat. So a base coat is quite is very, very important because it helps shape the entire painting. And if we can go to chest cam for a, a moment. Right, chest cam, can you see the superstar? Wowzers, trousers, look at that. We are gonna get some of that on very, very shortly. It's a very, very special color called Rocket Red. And yes, you heard it here first, folks. It is fluorescent. So as soon as you, uh, as soon as you put a UV light source on it, boom, that will light up like it is the 4th of July. Okay, are we ready to get moving then? Yes, I think so, Ed, get to move on. Okay, we will do. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this dragged out. We need to get the canvas covered. Yes, why do we need to do that, Ed? Well, we need to get paint on. That's the important thing. Now this really is just to get some, some paint initially into the weave of the canvas. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to look very good. This is about us getting paint on because what I'm gonna do straight over this, guys, is to get a slightly different version of the black on. So as you can see, and probably as you will know, I don't mess about. <laughs> But this one is quite important that we get thinned out and moved around quite quickly because of what we're going to be doing next, okay? So, I'm going to keep an eye on all your comments and thoughts and opinions and questions. But as you'll appreciate, I've just got to move reasonably quickly at the moment around here. Now, I uh, apologise for the audio, uh, but again, if you're new here or haven't seen one of the broadcasts, we, uh, we always have <laughs> huge problems with audio uh, but this is simply because we're trying to do something that the microphones weren't really intended for and at all points in time we're having to combat uh, the extractor in the corner which is 98 decibels and that's going on all the time hence the reason why i wear ear defenders okay right so at the moment whilst now this looks like a nightmare on elm street we are going to introduce some more colors now and then we're going to start to build up our wonderful grape colour. Now, in order to do that, even though that fabulous sort of maroony, pinky, sort of whatever you call it that I showed you, is so nice, we need to bring in some other elements. My key, my special one, here is going to be a nice red. So what the red's going to do, it's going to form with all the other two colours at the moment, and give me some really nice sort of mild tones, and ways of just lifting the denseness of the black up so i'm just going to pop that round in a little series right while i do that let's see if we can answer some of your questions so ian holmes thank you very much cheers ian for the question have we ever considered uh special lighting effects you know sort of uh, when you're displaying artworks created so Things like being backlit, uh, you know, and all that kind of thing, or maybe UV. Well, yeah, actually, we have, but in a lot of these things, a lot of it just comes down really just to time, time, patience, and, and money, you know. And uh, I think uh, because of the uniqueness of these paints, they really do require a certain degree of um, sensitivity in terms of, uh, you know, what you throw at them in terms of light. When you're talking about things like metallics, the metallics do lend themselves to having. Uh, additional light sources um, but other things possibly don't you know so the more dense uh, or primary the colors are the less they tend to work well with anything other than natural light um, so yeah it's always a consideration Ian um, and I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll have some nice sexy LEDs going on and things like that that's gonna be pretty awesome <laughs> but again it's just a question of time so I hope that answers your question Okay, so James, brilliant question. So do I practice beforehand or do I just uh, go for it sort of uh, and play it out as is? Well, it can be a mixture of the two actually, James. I'd love to stand here and profess that everything is completely planned down to the last T because um, you probably know that that's not the case. However, um, I do do generally a lot of painting anyway. And of course, born out of that are experiments and practice like everything we have to become very well practiced at what we do, I think, as as people, depending on what our chosen skill set is. 
um, because it helps us be better at whatever it is that we're doing. So there is a general amount of practice anyway. I'm always, always in and out of my paint pod in here doing something or another. And then when we've got AD, uh, of course, uh, his ability to problem solve and uh, do all kinds of things like that and uh, source materials and come up with solutions. Re really, you know, I couldn't do half of what I do without without that input. So, but yes, I have to practice. I have to practice this one. Uh, I have practiced on a number of occasions. Not this time, because uh, <laughs> I've got to I pretty much know what I'm doing anyway. Um, but if we're practicing something like spins or the barrels or things like that that we haven't really done before, um, then yes, I have to have some time with it because otherwise I'm, I'm more like more than likely going to uh, fall flat on my face. <laughs> okay, right. So, have we got any more questions? Let's see if we can answer any more questions for anyone. So we're going to do a bit of translation, guys. So just give us a second. Right, so we're just going to do a bit of translation. What I'm going to do now, <coughs> well, my uh, wonderful operator is uh, <laughs> is tapping away on Google Translate. Who else have we got? 13 of us joined now on uh, Facebook. Rochelle's here. Good evening. Greetings to you, Rochelle. Uh, Paul Gardner is... Uh, oh, Paula says, how fast do the paints dry? Great, great question, Paula. Thank you for asking. Well, a lot really does depend on the volume of paint that goes on in any one particular session. Typically, though, uh, Paula, the nasty things, the stuff that really, really makes you ill, um, uh, <clears throat> that will need for around about three to four days uh, to cure, um, so that at least when I walk in here, I can walk in here without a mask on. If I have to uh, come in before that, for any reason, then I will have to put a, a mask on. But uh, typically, until I can move it, an average painting is around about five days from the point at which I finish uh, a particular session um, and, uh, you know, call the painting done. But uh, I, have done a <laughs> I have done a Jackson Pollock replica before, which we've both worked on, and that's taken a year to dry before now, but um, you know, typically four to five days. But the one in the corner, the one I showed you first, uh, first off early doors, um, that's still unmovable, and that's been done for about four days now. So probably another two or three days. But even so, uh, Paula, when um, when that's uh, when it's movable, uh, it still doesn't necessarily mean I can hang it upright. And even at that point, when it's upright, <clears throat> there can still be movement in the paints. So again, it's a very, very tricky call, exactly on when you know it's safe to move something. But uh, four, four to five days, I can get them out of here. Uh, the chemicals won't kill me, so it's at least safe, but it can be a little bit more than that in terms of time before I can actually hang something up as a, as a flat canvas to photograph it or maybe, you know, from sending images to a client or facing social media. And of course, this, <laughs> for me anyway, the size that I work on, this is quite a small space. It's, it's a small space. It's only eight meters by four meters. So, um, I have to get the rotation and the planning about you know when I'm in here and what I'm doing. I have to get that pretty. The schedule has to be pretty tightly controlled. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to say, oh, I can't do something because something's drying. In fact, we're that busy at the moment. I had that problem yesterday, and I didn't even know if I was going to be. <laughs> it was a bit last minute being able to get the canvas cut and put in here because of uh, actual clients' paintings being there uh, also. So, right, but that's a great question, Paul. So thanks for that. <laughs> okay. Let's just bring you up to speed if you just tuned in. So, our Cosmos painting, which is having its dark background. Now, it's going to have this uh, plum colour at the moment I've brought in, uh, as you can probably see. The plum is now being um, mixed around. I'm just doing this with the, uh, the end of a four inch brush. There's no chemicals, no thinning compounds, nothing like that at the moment. All I want to do is just get some of these edges kind of a little bit blended in. I'm not going to worry about the centre because the centre is going to get covered. But around the edges, I just want some of this blended in just a little bit, just to help some of the uh, the uh, density of the paint move around a bit. Well, Simon, now there's a very interesting question. Uh, let me see if I can get this right. <laughs> Am I ready? This is on Facebook for another another <laughs> hubba hubba woof woof hubba hubba. Ding ding visit. Well, I say, old chap. 
I rather think you should. You should come and have a look. Yes, we've got something to show you anyway, and you know what I mean, don't you? We can't announce that on air, Simon, so uh, keep it between us. But uh, that thing you know about uh, is waiting for you to come and have a look, and we'll be in touch about that. Okay, that's uh, cryptic, I know, but uh, for everybody else. But okay. Right, so, guys, there we go. What have we got so far? Okay, we have got a completed pretty much base layer now which is awesome now i've got one to two little bubbles which i'm now going to go back over okay and i'm going to give this a tiny little squirt the thinners okay so this is a standard mineral thinners because it's a natural, well, sorry, natural, natural it's got some nice things in it rather than being a fully synthetic version and uh, this helps uh, break down some of the uh, chemicals in the paint to make it a bit easier to move. So all I want to do now is just where I've gone over it now with the brush, of course I've got a very even texture. But what this helps to do now is just to keep the paint liquid. It just keeps that top level of the surface from drying too quickly, which means it's going to remain pliable for probably another 10 to 15 minutes. So around the outside, I'm now just going to pull the paint into random little twists and turns. And what this will do is just add a little bit of texture now to the edge of the painting so that when the light catches it especially if this is hung in a portrait orientation when it's done you can imagine that in a double height stairwell boom it's gonna look fantastic and sensational right okay so um paula says there the logistics are interesting there's no way to speed up the drying process well actually there is <laughs> actually i'll tell i'll share this with you down in the corner i've got two flaps should we go and have a look let's have a look at my flaps right can we see over there? So at the bottom I've got a static open flap, which is the minimum that I need. And in here, if you can see, I can actually control the vent. So if I want to speed up the airflow and create a slightly higher pressure, then I can close the vent off a little bit more. It forces more, the, the air, there's still the same volume of air coming in, but it's more difficult to suck it in. So it speeds the airflow up and it does have a small effect on the drying times. But again, I just have to be careful if I actually dry them too quickly, I can get wrinkling and cracking and that's what I don't want to do. So it tends to be quite a, uh, a closely managed service. <laughs> Sorry, the system to be able to get it to, to perform right. Right, okay, so let's just have a look at quick what everyone's saying. Uh, funny Fox, what you are doing, Junior, deserve a job from Ed. I'm present to all of them. <laughs> uh, James has used his coffee cup just about every day. What, you mean, you mean one like that, James? Yes. <laughs> I think you do. Don't forget, guys, if you want to get your hands on merch, we're bringing new merch out all the time. Um, go to teespring.com forward slash Suarez Art. Can't miss it. Teespring.com into Suarez. You'll find it. We've got tons of really cool stuff. Um, okay, bring Darling Baldwin is watching and Brian Greenberg and Sharon Sturgis. Good evening, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Awesome. What else are we talking about on YouTube? No idea, but I'm going to come back to it anyway. Um, yes, how about this for a face mask, eh? Yeah, how about that? All right, guys, brilliant, fantastic. So, the next thing I want to do, next thing I want to do, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's have a look. Which camera are we on? So, we've just popped the link on the screen for you. Right, let's go into, and that's for the merch, by the way. Let's go into corner cam. Now, if I can tear your eyes, away from the amazing, colourful, the brilliant merchandise for just one second. Have a look at the main event. This is it. Oh, I, I could write a book on this colour. Rocket red. How beautiful is that? Fully fluorescent in the right UV lighting conditions. This is genius. And I have to tell you, it's frighteningly expensive. I mean, this is an expensive thing to do anyway. But this <laughs> is really expensive. You can see that on the chest cam. Look. Hopefully we can see that. Goodness me. Right, let's get some on the glove. Look at that. That's the skin already. Look at that. Isn't, isn't that a thing of absolute beauty? Right. So now, this is where the fun starts, all right? We've done, we, we've done the semi-interesting bit. <laughs> now we're going to form the shapes. This, this is where I've got to really, really think about what I'm doing. So. The basic principle is, are we still on corner? Okay, the I'm going to come around here, guys, so you can you can see my lovely, pretty face. Right. The basic principle 
We're going to join together. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know, but let's see if I can do it live on air. <laughs> We're going to join together for semicircles. These have got to be right because I don't get a second chance for this. One shot deal. That could be a good t-shirt, couldn't it? One shot. Anyway, a one shot deal. Okay, I'll tell you something about t-shirts later on. Just remind me something amazing. Anyway, right, so what principle is I'm going to separate out four parts of the painting and I'm going to do this with semicircles. So it's going to be one kind of here and then it's going to be one on the other side, kind of like that. And then there's going to be two smaller ones opposing each other. So we're then going to kind of cut the corner that side and then cut the corner that side. And hopefully, reasonably well, they should all link together. Are we ready to have a go? This colour, honestly, is just magnificent. Right, enough of that. Let's get going. I've got my eye on Facebook. I've got my eye on YouTube. We'll read some comments out. Let's just get it on, shall we? Are we, re are we ready? Are we ready? Right. <coughs> Oh, I tell you what, I'm getting all stressed out here. Look at that. What a colour! What a colour! Right, let's get some more of that in because I just blatantly haven't put enough in. Right, so let's let's keep going with that. Let's keep going. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Look at that for a colour. So now we now we're gonna do the two other arcs. Let's do should we do should, guys, should we do it? Shall we absolutely do it? Oh, I tell you, right, guys, just before before I attack this now, guys, can you see what we're doing? We're now starting to separate this out. So here's what the really ultra mega cool thing is about this technique, okay? So not only do we now start pushing some of the darkness away towards the edges because we're going to be concentrating on what goes into the center, but actually what we're going to do, <laughs> I can scarcely believe what we're going to do, we're going to start, start manipulating it all together. I know that sounds so weird. But you'll see what happens now when I start to pull the window scraper through this. This is going to start to create all these flowing zones and it's going to go up and it's going to go down and it's going to go dance and it's going to go around the other side and it's going to do the same thing. <sighs> now, it does look different on the overhead cam. Um, <clears throat> now look. All right, you see that? So let's go to PTZ. So look. Now look at that compared to the overhead cam. And then look. And you see how different that looks. So we're going to try, we'll try and get you the best sort of <laughs> as to what it looks like. It's very, very difficult with four different cameras and like all interpret colour and all that in a completely different way and process it. So we are trying to do our best to give you the most realistic experience about what this is going to look like, okay? So, just before, so you join me on chest cam, so I'll try and be still. Just before I spread these out, I want to do something very, very subtle. These are these little nuances are always the... Right, so we've lost the camera, guys. We're going to work on getting one of the cameras back. Let's not worry about that too much. We're going to go in with the purple now. So we're going to... There, there's the second, guys. We're just going to try and get the camera back. Wouldn't be us if uh, if something didn't go wrong right during the live stream. Right, well, well, uh, we're just looking at that. We've got a black screen, so if it goes black, don't worry, guys. I'll keep talking. Um, he's got it. He's got it. Brilliant. Asma's here as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Katrina's loving it. Woo! Okay, fantastic. James McCormack uh, on YouTube has given us a few. Uh, uh, claps and cheers, thank you very much. Right, so we, we are back. We are definitely back. Thanks for joining us, James. Um, and Manny Wedo is here. It looks yellow from the top centre camera. How odd. Right. 
Right, I'm going to have a look on the overhead. Yeah. You may have to bring the um, uh, colour intensity down. Um, sure, he's tried. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right, well, we'll proceed with that. Right, so next one I'm going to do here okay, is... Okay, I've got a proper little arc of purple on here as well. So you can probably see that going on just down at the bottom towards the left-hand side. Okay. So we are we are we we, we will in, we will do an upgrade on the overhead cam at some point, guys. So uh, thanks for your patience. We'll go through as many uh, through the cameras as we can, so you can get a much better idea about what things look like. Okay. So I'm adding a little drop of purple now, and then also what I've done because I'm a bit cheeky. Oh yes. Having a bit of a cheeky one tonight. I'm adding a little drop of that really nice burgundy purple in as well. So I've got two purples going in. And then what's going to happen, guys, as soon as I start moving this, all three of those colours are going to start working together. Ooh, nice. Now, excuse me, I'll just have to cough. Don't worry, I'm completely fine. <coughs> right, okay, let's rub the end of my scraper. There's a, there's a sentence I... <laughs> I didn't think I'd uh, alter. Uh, Jackie Johnson is watching. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. How are you doing? Um, and uh, what else have we got? Switching paintings for a couple of clients. Oh, did, uh, did Zane, Zane, did you ask a question? Uh, I'm not sure if you did. I think Funny Fox might have uh, been commenting on that. Right. Okay, guys. Here we go then. Everybody on Facebook, let me hear you say, woo. No, sorry. Another fun fair. Let's just get on with it. Right. Here we go. Uh, which camera are we on? Fantastic. Right. No, no, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to drag this one first. Okay. So let's see how we get on. So this is where I really, really have to be very careful on where my arcs are going. So, whew. so this will determine how far in, how far out I go. And most importantly, how much of these four areas get left with no paint in them. Okay. Let's have a go. Okay, not too bad. Let's do it. So we do that times three. Uh, yep, yeah, that's reasonable so far. Okay, let's try that again. Now this one I want to bring down a little bit, so I'm going to be very careful on the right-hand side and not take it any further out. But I'm going to just bring this one out a little bit there. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Hopefully now we should be able to get some colour showing. It might just be a reflection issue, to be honest. So hopefully that should look a little bit better for you now, guys. Right, let's do number four. Let's get number four done. And I'm going to just slightly taper off the angle of this one a little bit. Nice. Might just take that back a little bit. Right, so almost there. Now the one thing, I don't know if you can see that, one thing, I've got a little bit of tail in this corner, which I'm not too happy with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a left-handed sweep. Oh, no, it's all going to go wrong. Because... And I need to then taper this off. Now you see I can bring it back in a little bit. Which is better. That's better. Oof, that's better. Yes, yeah, so. Okay, now that's that's all very well and good. <clears throat> I'm gonna abandon that scraper for a moment. Um and now I want to do something with these edges. So, uh, which camera are we on, sorry? Okay, brilliant. So I think we can see on the corner cam here. So whilst I'm not too worried about this, this is our infill segment here, which is great. What I am concerned about now is what I'm going to do here. So this is where I now want to blend these out going that way. And this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is give this a little spray. And uh, let's see which one am I going to work on first. I think we'll work on this one because we've got the most amount of area to cover. So I'm just going to give this edge a little bit of a spray helps me just move the paint around. All right, so hopefully we can see this. We're still on corner. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just try and soften this edge around here. In fact, I think I'm going to again. I'm going to have to work left to right, which is not not ideal. So this goes back to what James <laughs> said about do your practice. But obviously, arcs and sweeps and swoops is probably something I didn't need to practice on. So that's got it one way. So that's fine. So let's let's keep doing that now until 
I'm getting a far less, a far more defined line, shall we say. So this is where I've just got to be so, so careful that I don't make this look too contrived. So you're probably seeing this on the overhead now, so let's get another, another one down. That's fine. So I'm just trying to soften that edge a little bit. So that's going reasonably well, but it's not quite the curve that I wanted. So let's keep working that. I'll keep working that round until I've got that a little bit more blended in. But this is quite high stakes and high pressure stuff now because this is probably something I would, I don't know whether I'd take a huge amount of time over, but um, again, this is all about defining this edge. What lies inside it, not too worried about. And if I do tend to take off most of the that beautiful fluorescent rocket red colour, I'll be popping it back on at some point and I can always put more on. So this is all about getting the sharpness of that line. So I've just got to fatten up this corner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to steal a bit of red uh, and then let's just introduce that down here. So I'm going to pop a little bit more on. So let's, let's get our line back on here, guys. And I'm going to pull it here. There we go. You know, the great thing about pulling paint off is the fact you can always put it back on again. So let's let's see if we can tease tease that round in a decent line, and then finish that off reasonably well. That's that's a little bit better. Okay, so so what have we done there? Well, we we've kind of delineated <clears throat> this front face here, which is great. Very very happy with that. You can probably just see that peeking out there. Now I'm going to give that a little bit of a spray. Remember now, I'm doing this because if just on that edge, if I want to give that edge a little bit of a tweak then I'm going to still keep the paint workable. Okay, right, let's see if we can do the same here, but I'm going to do something slightly different, only marginally different now. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little bit of, oh, pop a little bit of black in. Okay, and I'm just going to pop some here. Now what might be quite difficult is, is of course this is black on black, so you're not really going to see, see this very much, but I am going to pop in a color we haven't used yet. So let's introduce now, what is this colour number four or five? And again, because this is quite a darker colour, I'm just trying to diffuse that line between fluorescent and the black. So I'm just going to bring in, it's kind of a dusky, almost maroon kind of burgundy, really kind of broody, nice kind of rich colour. And I think because of where we've got the majority of the paint, and this is the way that I'm going to be bringing it all. So let's do our first sweep over and let's see what we get. It's probably going to be quite pronounced, so I'm going to need to be bringing that sort of left and right now. Let's see if we can help delineate this a little bit. The nice thing about these sweeps on the outer edge is I can be quite, uh, quite angular with them. Um, now what I mean by that well, because I've got a defined edge on the inside, it doesn't mean I have to keep that. So actually what I can do is just keep going over this until I'm happy with the edges on the outside of these circles, because these are the ones that we're going to see. So Let's get that over there. Perfect. And then we're going to do the same as before. And we'll bring in a couple of lines of the fluorescent just to redefine that edge. So the Rita, yes, thank you very much. That's an excellent question. Are there going to be more colours? Oh, yes, there are. Now, the key thing is, is that we may very well be popping the other colours on uh, next week because, because I'm sure to appreciate paintings that are complicated build-up of uh, sweeps and swoops and layers and all these kind of <laughs> techniques that we master here. Um, they take a bit of time, of course, the more paint I put on in any single session, um, the more they tend to blend with each other. So one of the key things about doing these kinds of paintings is I need to keep some of the layers quite separate. And actually what goes through the center, Rita, is something I need to keep quite clearly defined. So my thought process is, is that we will return back to this and then we'll complete the space painting by the next week. Um, it, is, it is like a part two, actually, Rita, yes. <laughs> That's what it'll be. So, Ian Holmes is on it again. Nice to say, he's come up with some blinding suggestions for a name. Um, Astral Remembrance or Celestial Remembrance. Goodness me, that is quite a title, isn't it? 
Well done, sir. So I'm glad si Simon's, uh, Simon's appreciating the orange. Thank you, buddy. That's, that's very kind of you. Right, okay, so we've done two. We've done the opposing ones now. So the question is, keeping this sort of alive now, what are we going to do with the other two? How do we treat those? Let's just have a quick look at your comments. Uh, Spin Art Trapeze uh, joining us on Facebook. Good evening, as is Nesrin and Colin and Sally and Stuart Freelove. Good evening, guys. Nice to see you. Don't forget if you are new here, guys, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. We're keeping all the energy flowing and doing some great art and explaining what's going on. Remember to give us a subscribe if you're watching. Really, really important and you'll help keep up to date with what's going on and when it's going on. And you won't miss anything, so do give us a subscribe. I remember for our patrons who are watching, okay, you can join us on Patreon too. You've got lots of exclusive member benefits. It's a couple of tiers on pricing, but you get tons of cool things, including... Uh, later in the year, the exclusive Suarez calendars. Oh my lord, they're just the best thing ever. Okay, so patreon.com forward slash Suarez up. Oh, can't miss us. Right, okay, so we've got two segments to go. What are we going to do here? Well, I'm really excited about these. These are really nice and you can see these delineating. I'm not now going to add anything more to these, but I am going to go quite slowly over them and I've got quite a lot of pressure. And this is all about line definition, so hopefully now you can see me scraping that black. And I'm going to get those lines defined, alright? So, we'll try that. What is that stuck to the end? Go away. Not your... Right, let's try that again. <laughs> alright, okay. So, even now I'm changing my mind. You know what, I'm just going to go for this. Let's just, let's just get this spread out a little bit more. It may be now, this is going back to something James Sims said about, do you practice? Yeah, you can do all the practice you want, but at the end of the day, if the painting, though this might sound completely bonkers, but if the painting talks back to you and says, uh, 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 this doesn't feel right, then you've got to be in a position to be able to change it. And right now, this particular arc is giving me a little bit of grief. So let's keep the paint workable. Let's get that sort of kind of blended out. Okay, so you can now see over there, these are just gentle left to right sweeps and you can see already now see this is the this is where it, you really have to rely on on the experience of doing this before um, this is not how I want it to be so as the paint starts dissipating and moving and blending I've now got to think right is this where I want to be with it and the answer is no so let's let's get the blends in that's fine let's at least get that and I can reintroduce that unbelievable fire colour, which I think I'm going to do. So let's just get this in. You see now, there's colours, you know, you only get a certain amount of work time with these and then that's it, it is game over. So, you know, I, I can only pull it backwards and forwards so many times. I'm going in, I don't know whether you can see that. Just going in with a little bit of black in there. All right, just because I'm a little bit close to the edge with, with the existing colours. And what I'm trying to do is not do that, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go back over this little quadrant with a little drop of black. There we go, and that's really textured. Goodness me, I wish you could see that. Actually, we'll introduce some of that. Let's push it, and we'll introduce some of it into here. So we're making this one quite, quite multi-dimensional now. Right, let's get the sweep right, because the sweep just isn't right. Right, let's keep sweeping that. Okay, fantastic. Right, that's much, much better. Now, let's bring in some of the rocket red we've got one more segment to do now have we got any more questions just while i get that last one in you can see sometimes how fine these small little details or little nuances of paint can be and really it's just kind of an insight into, into how my mind kind of works and how i'm sort of understanding about what it is that i want to do to any particular kind of painting that's quite interesting actually with those like see the lines hmm tempted to leave those I quite like that. Um, well, I've just been asked a question. Yes, uh, switch. Oh, you can toggle it on and off, yeah, but I doubt it will uh, do anything. I'll have to check the connection. So, yeah, basically, uh, on, on my personal Suarez account, it's not, um, we're not broadcasting, so... <laughs> Just trying to problem solve that as we go along. 
Right, I'm going to continue while we try and do that. I'm liking the lines, actually. So, I'm going to continue with the lines. Now, some of these are going to get covered up, but actually, there's the reactionary bit. Lines are doing it. I don't know whether you're liking the lines, but let's get the lines on. Right. Yeah, so, so that's pretty good looking on the overhead now. I'm just having a look at that. Bill Hughes, I have a question. Can, can you start over? I got here late. <laughs> no. No, you should have made it here in time, Bill, you naughty man. Back of the class. Right, okay, I'm going to keep the lines there. So, let's have a think. Have we managed to do everything? We've got one segment left to do. So let's get that segment done. Now, I am going to show you something. Gonna... Please don't know, guys, because I've got something really, really cool to show you. Because what you probably can't see is what's happening to <laughs> what's happening to the paint over in the corner and there's a reason why we're getting a particular effect with the corner which i'll tell you in a moment but just for now let's get one job finished which is just to get the four outside segments uh, blended and uh, with less of a harsh line although having said that obviously this harsh line is looking pretty pretty darn good and good so that's fine make sure i don't trip over okay here we go here we go here we go. so i've given the edge a little bit of a spray Let's redefine. Uh, so yeah, man is uh, asking for more purple. Don't worry, don't worry. There's plenty of purple to come. In fact, I'm not sure if I did answer Rita's question about are there more colours to come, and I just went yeah, <laughs> but I didn't tell you what colours are going to come. Did I say what colours are coming? No, oh, right, okay. So I think I will tell you, Rita, what colours are to come. Oh, wowzers! There are some fantastic colours to come. You're not going to see them tonight, but. There are some truly epic... If you think this, if you like this colour red and orange, you should wait and see what we've got coming next week. Because blatantly, this is going to go on to next week because there's no way I could do it in, uh, in just one city. So you're going to have to tune in, everyone, to see how this pans out. But I kid you not, the person that bought the, the original one, Requiem, the first one that I did, which is in all the social media posts, you should see it in his home. Oh, it is just absolutely mind-blowing how, how good it looks you know when when you get it right and you find a client who really really is completely bowled over by what it is that you did, and that particular painting is the one for them it is it is genuinely when i say this <laughs> from a professional standpoint there aren't many feelings that really get as good as that there really aren't it's quite something okay right so fine let's have a quick look at our progress before we go any further so what have we done okay we've got our spaces developed guys very happy with that we've got uh, we've got the motion of the painting right remember all of this is going to get filled can you imagine this on steroids loud and proud boom all the way through with all the galaxies and milky ways and swirling dust clouds and all manner of amazing things going through that yes that's what's coming up, I can promise you that right now. Now, did I not say, oh, you should see what's happening over here. Now, I wonder if we could zoom in, perhaps down here, and I'll show you. Now, let's go on to chest cam as well. So, can we see the end of my scraper here, my scrimmage? Can you see the dimples? I hope you can. Now, if this doesn't look like the rings of Saturn, I don't know what does. And also things like dust clouds and black holes. So, you know, going on the whole cosmic stellar space thing, one of the clever tiny little things which you didn't see is I got a tiny little bit of a particular solution and dropped a couple of bits in the paint. And uh, here we go. This is what you get. Uh, and it's a completely randomized effect. But my goodness me. This is already looking spectacular. So I just wanted to show you that. You may not have seen that on the overhead cam, but you can sure as, as they see it on the chest cam, hopefully. Looks fantastic. The effect is just mind-blowing. So we're going to see now if we can get a picture of that on the corner cam for you. Why, why am I falling over? Oh, it's because my, uh, my lace is undone. And Don Hodgetts is here. Good evening, Don. So Don of... Uh, of Yorkshire. Very nice to see you this evening, Squire. I've just got to dry my hands, actually, because uh, it's a little bit warmer here. <laughs> About 85 degrees. Okay, fantastic. Right, okay. So what else have we got? Let's have a quick look at uh, 
Uh, oh, Simon says I'm a tease. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Fish42. Hi, we didn't say hello. Good of you to join us. And, uh, yeah, you're fantastic. Okay, now that, even I can see that on the camera now. Hopefully. Yes, looking very good. There's our black holes on the camera. Fantastico. Right. Okay, how are we doing? I think we're doing pretty good here, guys. Right, let me just pop my gloves on. Oh, dear. Ooh, is it warm where you are? It's getting warm and cold here. It's very odd. Or maybe I'm just at that funny age. Who knows? Right then, guys. So there we go. Now, of course, if I were to start the uh, centre uh, as we speak now, then I'm probably going to have to finish it, which is going to cause me a huge amount of problems because their plate just isn't in time to do that. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to have a quick look around here and I'm going to decide yes or no as to whether this is floating the boat or not. Well, so far, you know, I have to say that's pretty good. One thing I'm going to do, look at these lines over here. Aren't they magnificent? Yes. And of course, if I give these a spray, they'll kind of merge into each other. So not only have we got black holes for me, we've also got dust clouds and rings. This is more like the rings of Saturn. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it amazing what you can create with paint? I do. I think it's amazing. That's why we do what we do. Because we're constantly fascinated by the possibilities of everything. Now, I one last thought was whether to introduce any... I'm going to get controversial now. Any yellow into our rings. Hmm. This is the tricky thing, then. If I put any yellow in it, I'm inclined to say no. What, what do we all think? Any of us think I should put yellow in? Let me know in the comments. Uh, just while I just tidy some of these darker areas up. Should I put any yellow in? Now this, I think, would be interesting. Let's see who reckons <laughs> I should and shouldn't do anything with yellow. Is it going to mess it up? Guys, what do you think? What do you think? I'm just going to tidy the black up a little bit. Just because I can. Get some striation marks into there. That's fine, looking good. But... Mm, so we've got some yeses coming through. Good night, George. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Richard Wills, just do it. <laughs> oh, Helen. Hello, Helen. I oh, know I might guess Simon would say purple. Oh, we're getting some yellows, are we? Oh, <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Let's see. Dash of yellow. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Funny Fox wants to see the yellow. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Candy Cara Shock. It looks amazing. Yeah. It's it's one of those tricky ones. What do we uh, <clears throat> what do we say on uh, Facebook? Uh, Denise Weeks votes for yellow. Uh, oh, Haley has joined us as well. Hi, Haley. How are you doing? And Bill says over the red. Mm, no, I'm thinking. Here's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe introduce, if this, if this is 100% of the width, maybe introducing a tiny, tiny little band. Maybe just here where it starts to go dark. Just maybe just here on this kind of cusp line. It's, it's one of those do you, don't you moments, isn't it, really? You know, I'm going to be introducing purple at other points. But the whole point of fading this out was, well, to do exactly that. To kind of just, you know, soften those edges a little bit. It is very hard. Oh, oh. I think it would be my next colour if I was going to do one. I think it probably would would be a yellow if it was going to be the next one. But then I want to bring those seams of yellow through the centre, I think. Yeah. So no, I think I'm going to build them on the inner rings, actually. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think it might be a little bit too much. So... Oh, I have to say, guys, I'm going to be a bit controversial here. No. Dare I say that? I don't I don't think the yellow should go in it. I mean, I know it would be tiny, but then I know what would happen. Let me tell you exactly what's going to happen. I'll show you. Although I'm not going to do it. I'd get the yellow in and I'd start doing that. And then I'm going to mess everything else up. And then I'm going to lose all the colours in the red. And this gorgeous orange. And that's one thing I don't want to do. So I'm, I'm going to err on the side of caution. And I'm going to say, no, that's not going to happen tonight. So, uh, I think we need to explore the idea, but I think ultimately, that's probably not a good one. <laughs> right, what have we got left in here? Anything? There we go, let's just get the last few reference in here. 
This will kind of delineate a little bit. Um, it just forms some nice little patterns within the paint. I don't like to waste anything. So uh, the, all these rings, you know, these, these form lines are really starting to take on their own personalities, which is great. I want the whole thing to kind of sing and dance on 10 minutes. I want every part of it to really be something quite special. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> a couple of little whites uh, on Facebook, uh, Darlene, light source, uh, light source in your mind, mm, possibly. Um, oh, Artfish42, goodness me, has just donated $10, Artfish, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Artfish42, thank you very much indeed. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Right, okay, let me have a look. Uh, right, so... Uh, this one. Right, uh, let's just have a look at that. There, you mean? Yeah, it is a bit, but then these two are meeting anyway. So, but I might pop a bit more in. Yeah, yeah, so I was just having a chat to control. Right, um, just to, there's a better view when you can see it on the computer screen. So one last thing I'm going to do, guys, and this, let's hope I don't completely mess it up now. So if ever there was going to be a dun-dun-dun moment... ...then this is going to be it. Right. Yes, of course, we are a little bit light in this corner. So let's just get someone here. And this could be, yeah, that's that's fine, that's fine, I'm okay with that. Uh, but this time I am not going to blend this because otherwise I'm going to start, even though I've got shorter scrapers, I just, I didn't, I need these, all of these, like I said, just to have a little bit of personality in them, so that's fine. Uh, all right, it'll be all part of the, uh, all part of the, uh, the end thing. Simon, what is it with you in purple? Goodness me. <laughs> not a joke. Don't worry, there will be purple in the centre. And uh, I won't reveal all the colours, but obviously we've alluded to yellow. Where is a Suarez without a dash of gold? So we're obviously going to have some gold in there. Oh, guys, this is great. Um, Jose Sobrino is watching. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, okay, fine, fantastic. So, um, uh, what else have we got? Okay, uh, lots of thumbs up going on. Uh, Zane agrees. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're torn, obviously, between the yellow thing going on. So that's quite interesting. Right, so yes, don't worry, yeah, Richard, bright colours on the inside. You know, this is just the start of it, but we'll have all the main event going on next week. I think that's going to be absolutely sensational. But look, hey, what we've done so far, we've tackled a gigantic canvas. We've got base coat done. We've got black holes forming. We've got the rings of satin. We've got a bright bold fluorescent colour going on, and we've got a big definition for something that we can finish off next week that is literally going to be extraordinary. I think we're doing pretty well. Look, let's have a quick look on chest cam while you're all still here. There, and they're all really starting to develop now. Let's have a crouch down. And you can hopefully start to see some of those textures. But let's, let's do it from this angle. Look at this now, look at these formula. I've literally just put these on. And hopefully, you can see them as they form. And they're all starting just to spread out. But this is what happens, it's so cool. And it spreads, and you get these gorgeous, and then some of it doesn't spread. So you get these wonderful stripes and rings, and it just really brings out some fantastic dimensions. And then you get to this bad boy over here, which is a much shallower arc, especially where it tapers off. And then you've got the delineation of it. This almost looks a bit like archaic and uh, a remnant from a distant sort of gas explosion. Love it. And then you get all these ripples and rivers starting to form, where I gave them the tiny little sprays of the uh, thinners. Marvellous. And I don't know if you can see where the light's shining in the middle, now we've got all these patterns of black going on as well, so whatever goes on top of this, that's going to come through as well in terms of textures, which is amazing. And they're probably, which I think is the best one of the lot so far. Oh my days. Here we go. Black hole theory. It's live and it's in the studio and you've watched it being created tonight. This is looking sensational. That in itself, if I cut that bit out, that would do for me. But oh no. We don't stop there, do we, ladies and gents? No, we don't. Look at all that we're going to tackle next week. Can you imagine that and how much fun we're going to have next week with that? We're going to come down in that area, we're going to come round, and then we're going to loop. 
and loop the loop back here and then we can all the way back round to the centre and then back out to where we came from and we're going to have big rivers of paint in the centre and it's going to start moving and it's going to start turning and we're going to introduce colours and chemicals and it's going to start blooming and forming and all the wonders of the cosmos are going to be there right there ladies and gents that's where it's going to happen so tell me have you enjoyed that i, th I certainly have i'm sweating buckets here hasn't that Yay! been such a cool night woohoo it's so it's so great to be back and be doing this i've missed this the last couple of weeks oh my word, word. one final check of the comments let's see where we're all at guys uh simon likes it and third eye open likes it yes i agree um, Event Horizon, that's a great name, Richard. Thank you very much. And yes, a multi-week painting, Kelly Karashaka. I think so, yes. Deep Field from Ian Holmes. Guys, your suggestions for names are epic. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, Zane, next week will be epic. You've got to run and tell your friends if you'd liked it on Facebook tonight. Thank you for sticking with us. If you've been getting on and living your life, we've had a little bit of fun. That's what this whole thing's about. We're creating something. And if you've enjoyed it, remember, if you're Facebook, give us a heart or a thumbs up. YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Come on, guys. If you've had fun, you're still with us. Show us your appreciation. It's been fantastic. I'm hyper and could do this the rest of the night. But we all got to stop somewhere. And I'm going to go stop for a coffee now. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Lots and lots of thumbs up. Everybody's loving it. You, you absolutely make, make it for us. And, uh, oh, Gundy Peterson has just joined in. Well, you might have to watch the repeat now, Gundy, but thank you so much. <laughs> Make sure you tune in next week, guys. Tell all your friends. There'll be lots of notifications coming out. And we can't wait to do it again. You won't believe what's going to go on in the middle of it. So whatever you do, make 7.30pm, that's your time, <laughs> same time next week. And we can't wait to see it. Honestly, mind equals blown times 10. Yes, that's what we're going to be doing. So... Thank you so much for watching everyone, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please stay safe and have a great week and in just seven days we're going to do this all over again. But from us all here at Suarez HQ we've thoroughly enjoyed your company this evening, thank you so much for watching and on behalf of us all we're out of here, roll the team!